Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. In this video, I will show you how you can enable shit via jet streamer right on your device. Yes, for the initial process, you will require a computer and this method should work without a jailbreak on iOS 18 and lower. The following video is meant to be for educational purposes and the only purpose of this video is to get JIT compilation enabled for the apps which require it so that they can run at full speed. The method is shown in this video is completely free and legit. First of all, we will prepare your device. So on your device, you will have to install these two. You will see this one, all right? And you will also have to install iZip. You can first of all get these two via the official app store. So you can simply open app store and search for this app and then install it from here. And secondly, search for iZip on the app store and install it. These two are completely free. Also for this video, as a demo, I'm using UTM, which requires JIT to get to full speed. So as you can see, I have installed it. You can see this message here, which shows us that JIT is not enabled. The good thing is that you can use JIT Steamer to enable JIT on all apps, which you have installed via Sideloadly or such tools or you can also use side store to install apps and then use jet streamer to enable jet a complete guide on how to use side store is in the description now that the device setup is complete we will move to the computer for the initial setup now on your computer simply visit the official website for jet streamer it is completely free and you can simply get here and you can see that we have already got the app to our device. Now we will have to get a pairing file. So you can use jitter bug pair to get it. So we will hit it and it will take us to the official GitHub page for jitter bug pair. Now you can simply scroll down and get to the latest release. So I'm using Windows. So I will go for the jitter bug pair win 64. All right. And I will get it to my pc all right as you can see i have got the zip file now you will simply right click and then extract all to extract it to a folder open the folder now at this point please connect your ios device via usb as you can see my device is already connected also before using jitter bug pair make sure that you have set a passcode as you can see i already set a passcode now you can simply double click and on your device, you will see this prompt. Simply hit trust, simply put in your passcode. Then again, double click jitterbug pair. You will see that it will generate this pairing file. Now on your device, open iZip once so that it can initialize. Now simply on your computer, open iTunes and from there hit file sharing. Now, in case you don't have iTunes installed, you can get iTunes from the official Apple's website to your Windows computer and install it. Now, in file sharing, you will see iZip right here. Now, hit on add file and simply point towards the pairing file we just created using jitter bug pair. Hit open and let the file copy to your device. The computer process is complete and the rest of the process will be completed on device. First of all, to confirm that the file copied successfully, we will open the files app. We will see this iZip folder here and you can see the file right here. You can simply press and hold and then hit on move and then move it to downloads. All right, now go ahead, open Safari and head to the same official website for JIT streamer. Simply scroll down and you will see this option to choose file. Hit on choose file. Hit on choose file again. Then choose the pairing file we just got from our computer to the device. Simply select it. Don't worry, sometimes it will freeze right here, but simply wait. Now, if it freezes here for a long time, you can try to select the file again and you will see uploading and you will see this download simply hit download to get the config file all right the file is now downloaded you can confirm it by going to the files app go to downloads and you'll find the config file right here now open this app then hit this button 
then choose this option then select the config file for jet streamer we just got allow put in your passcode and you will see this button simply turn it on now you can close out of it open safari again and simply visit the website for jet streamer again scroll down and you will see this shortcut hit on download shortcut now hit add shortcut simply hit on it hit on allow allow again and wait for the initialization to complete this can take some time so please be patient all right now hit ok also if you are doing this for the very first time you will also see this screen on your device the device is mounting so you will have to wait here also make sure that you keep your screen on while the mounting completes and then you will see this menu it will ask you to select the app you want to enable jet so i have this app already installed i will select it i will see this message hit always allow you will see this message you are in position zero which means everything is working fine hit ok and finally it will open the app for you with jet enabled you can see that the message is now different and we can confirm that jet is enabled for this app before we end the video a little troubleshooting so if it is not working for you what you can make sure is you can simply open this app and make sure jet streamer is turned on all right so if it errors out you can open it if it is on you can turn it off you can turn it on again then you can open the jet streamer and you will see that it will surely work for you like so so no problems whatsoever one more thing sometimes this troubleshooting tip does not work what you can do is you can simply regenerate this pairing file from your computer once again and then it will surely work for you that's all for this video if you still have questions you can always ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself